Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's all on you. What a powerful statement and so much what weighs on that statement. I've been through something the last couple of days which really made me have to look inside myself and find a different type of strength. For a long time now, uh, I have been dealing with somebody in my role, this is work related, in my role who has almost been second guessing me or doesn't respect my knowledge and you could say my education and my hard work and everything I've achieved. Every time, whether it be a simple question or whether it be something a little bit more complicated, the person always goes above me when they don't need to and they can just take my response, but they choose not to. Whenever I have a conversation with them or if I'm in a meeting and I've got the answer, they always have to add something on. This has been going on for quite a while and this has been making me feel quite deflated. And I can often come out of a meeting with this particular person and it almost makes me think, I wonder if I should look for something else. I wonder if I should look for almost a different role or I wonder altogether if I should choose a different area in the company and try and make quite a drastic change. It's all on you, isn't it? Very often in life, um, we hear, don't we? Well, if you want to make a change, make the change. Or if you want to do this, you have to do it. And as I always say, we are the writers of our own book. If we wish to have an incredible action-packed journey book of our life to read, to action, to live, then we have to action it. We have to grab all the opportunities by both hands and run with it. And I always say, None of us are blessed with a tomorrow, and if we're blessed with another, let's grab it with both hands. Friends, family, for me, my mum, my dad, my nan, all at that parent table in my heart. There's not a thing in this world I wouldn't do for them. They are the very me. They're, they're, that's life for me. I no longer have my nan, but she's always with me, and she's always here. I can handle all of those things, and I can handle oh. difficult conversations, when brother's getting hold of me at all hours. Um, I can handle lots. But this particular situation at work, no, I didn't seem to be able to. I'm a professional person by trade. I'm an accountant. I've worked hard. I've taken many, many exams. And previous to the role I'm in, I had a very strong uh, career in retail banking and I worked hard. Yes, I reaped the rewards of that, but I've worked hard. There's only this one particular person I've come across ever in my life who has always second guessed me or almost treats me like I've not quite made the bill yet type thing. I'm not quite to that level yet. But even even though I've had so much great feedback, it's all on you. OK, let's break that down. So it's all on you to make your happiness. OK, it's all on you to look after yourself, isn't it? When we're feeling unwell, it's all on us to uh, see a doctor, see a medical professional. Um, for happiness, we do things for enjoyment. We spend time with our families, our loved ones. We enjoy milestones, birthdays, Christmas, happiness. We have summer holidays and things, all those wonderful things. When it comes to me, and I'll be honest and I'll share this as a very personal notion with you, I am the first always to defend somebody and I always say that um, if I see something which is untoward, I will call them out. I will deal with the situation there and then. I have the utmost confidence. That's not the problem here. But when it comes to me personally, I almost let somebody kind of, I don't know, not I wouldn't say look down on me. But when I sit here today and I say to you, it's all on you. It's on you to look after yourself. It's on you to support yourself. It's on you to drive your successful journey. My friend, you're going to get there. If you're sat there worrying about that, you're going to get there. And you know what? I, I Earlier, I went out with my uh, with my mum, had a wonderful time. Um, had, we, we had some Christmas shopping, had such a laugh. It was lovely. And I'm very, very close to my parents and my dear nan, who I no longer have, which breaks my heart. They get very infuriated. Um, when people, when anybody's treated me like this, I live with a hearing condition and they've, they've picked up some people just whilst we've been out and about with how they've treated me with my hearing and I've not heard. Um, and they're very, very defensive, very loving, very caring. And I am with my family. I suppose that's, that's normal, isn't it? It's normal. It's the blessing. But this particular person, do you know what? They just seem to almost have a power over me with how they treat me. And a couple of days ago, I thought to myself, do you know what? This is what came into my mind. It's all on you, Bradley. 
You spend so much time, you work so hard in trying to get your career where you want it to be. And it is in a strong position. I'm working towards my next promotion. I've already enjoyed two. But yet this one person still remains in my team. And you know what? I don't bear them any bad malice at all. They're a lovely, lovely person. However, it's almost like they have not an ounce, not a shred of confidence in me. And it's deflating. So a couple of days ago, I thought to myself, do you know what? I've had enough of this. I come out of a meeting almost like a lecture as a child, and I knew what I was doing. I knew the answer. I'd given the answer, but yet this person made it their almost dictation to almost make me feel like this. And it happens often. And do you know, it can be damn miserable. It can be damn miserable. And um, by the way, I love my role, love my job, love my company I work for. Um, but I try to consciously stay away from this particular person. And anyway, a couple of days ago, I, there was somebody who I knew I could vent to. And um, I picked up the phone and I said, you know what? I just can't take this anymore. It's getting to the point where I'm going to have a look for something else in the company, a new role, something move to move. I just cannot take this. I've approached this person. I have said to them, look, I know what I'm doing. I appreciate your effort. I appreciate your direction. But in the nicest possible way, I've got this. This is my work. You have no need to involve yourself. It's okay. And I would sooner ever in life, if I, I'd sooner make a mistake and stand up and own it and learn from it rather than what's been going on. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I need to, I need to vent. And, uh, and I did. And, um, and as soon as I said it, I was, cause I, I kept it to myself. I kept it to myself. My parents and that know, and, um, the Lord above my nan know. And, um, I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to say it, how it's making me feel. Just say it. Remember, by the way, it's all on you. It's all on you to choose your happiness, to make your happiness, of course. It's all on you to make your life how you want life to be. It's all on you to love, to care for those who mean the world to you. It's all on you to get yourself out of negative situations. And when rubbish happens, it's on you to resolve, to build, to grow stronger, develop, get out of all of that. So I thought to myself, do you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to do it. And I did. And this person gave me some suggestions and they've taken it on board now and change is happening. But you know what? Nearly three and a half years? Isn't that crazy? Nearly three and a half years. I'd say the last year it's got a lot worse. Three and a half years. Crazy. It's all on you. And you know what? Sometimes never ever be afraid to make a mistake. Those mistakes we learn from, we build, and one mistake never defines us, but it's how we deal with that. I love the saying, it's not how we fall down, it's how we get back up. It's all on you. That statement I know carries a lot of pressure. It bears a lot of weight. However, take note. Look after you, okay, well-being. Take care of your body, take care of your mind, de-stress, love and cherish those around you. And yes, my friend, it's all on you. But however, key in that, you, the important thing. God bless, take great care. And I hope that may resonate with somebody to think that actually it's on us to make a change. If you're in a situation what's not right, making you feel uncomfortable, do you know what? Sadly, the way the world we live in, the fallen world we live in, there's not many opportunities, there's not many times in life where somebody will say, do you know what, I can see all through that, you're not okay. Your parents will know, your grandparents will know, your siblings will know, your partner will know, your friends will know. But in a situation such as work, or if it be financial, or if it be that actually you've got it going all up here, no one's highly unlikely going to say, do you know what, I'm going to get you out of that. It's all on you. You'll get there. You're absolutely fine. And you're going to be fine. Remember, you're a blessing. You're amazing. There's only one of you in this world. Take great care. Thank you very much for listening. And if you do have any queries or questions, please leave them down below and I will do my utmost best to get back to you. God bless. Take great care. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye now.